Are you looking for a way to get really smooth fins on your rocket? That's what I'm going to cover in this edition of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. I'm building the Blue Streak rocket kit right now, and the last time we put the launch lugs on, and since then I put fillets on the launch logs like we did when I put the fillets on the fins. So all the glue is dry now. Um, our next step is to attach the parachute or the streamer. This rocket comes with a small streamer and this is a mylar streamer. And the instructions say to just tie the streamer right to the shock cord. Um, I prefer to tape it on. Um, and the tape I use is just the clear strapping tape that you put on cardboard boxes when you're shipping a box somewhere. Um, trying to get a nice straight edge. Probably have to cut it. Okay, so I got uh, about an I want about an inch piece. So it's really hard to see because it's clear. Um, but I'm going to lay the streamer right in the middle of it like that. And so half of the tape is on the streamer and half of it hangs over the edge and then I just simply lay the shock cord in the middle of that and then just tape bring the uh, tape over the top and before I smoosh it down I push the shock cord all the way up into the corner and there it is and that's how you attach a streamer and this is very sturdy stuff because you use it for cardboard boxes so it's also um, it, it'll stay on pretty pretty good never had one come off there um, the streamer can be rolled up and shoved back inside the rocket just like that at this point, the rocket is, is just about done. Um, we do have to seal the fins yet, though. Um, and for that, I use Elmer's Carpenter's Wood Filler. This is the interior stuff. And this stuff is really nice because it doesn't have any odor and it's water soluble, so you don't have any fumes to worry about. Um, what I do is I thin it out. It's like a thick paste. Um, I'll take a bunch, put it into a cup. and then thin it out with a little bit of water so that you can paint it onto the fins. So, so a little bit of water in there. Oh, I just spilled my water. <laughs> Good thing it's just water. It's probably a little bit too thin. So get a little bit more. I want it. I want it fairly thick. But not as thick as that. paint it on with a paintbrush. And I only want to do the balsa wood. I don't need to do the paper. In fact, you want to keep it off the paper as much as possible because the water in the filler um, will soften the fibers of the paper. And then you know how you get paper. When paper gets wet, it gets kind of crumbly. Um, that's what I'm trying to avoid. And don't forget to do your edges. And I'm putting it on pretty thick. This stuff sands really easy. So um, I don't worry about putting it on thick. So that's one.
just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the other one and then let it dry. Um, and then in the next time we'll sand it off. So um, over here off to the side, I'm sure you're going to love these extra videos we provided for you. Um, if you're new to YouTube, uh, please subscribe to our channel. We really do appreciate it. And we do read all those comments down there too. So my name again is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light. May the skies be blue. May all your rockets fly straight and true.